All Blacks Argentina semi-final number two, folks. 44-6 is a pretty emphatic win for the All Blacks. This game maybe didn't live up to last week's quarterfinals, the likes of South Africa, France, and New Zealand, Ireland. It ends up being a pretty easy one for the All Blacks, especially in that second half. I feel like the Argentinians certainly didn't take many of their chances in that first half, and the All Blacks on attack are an unbelievable side, but particularly they work at the breakdown and their defensive sets won the day for them in this one. We'll go through some key events and stats. You guys can let us know your thoughts. Maybe a kind of more low-key atmosphere in this one. The fact that New Zealand and Argentina are pretty far from home. So not as many traveling fans as some of the other teams. French fans uh, who would have been in attendance didn't really have a horse in the race. Probably would have been back in Argentina just because they were the big-time underdog. But with the scoreline, uh, maybe more Mexican waves than big kind of cheers in this one. So... Just as what it is, man. Um, Argentina, though, actually started well. Believe it or not, I'm going to say that, despite the scoreline. They had 14 phases uh, attacking the All Blacks early. The All Blacks couldn't get any ball. I feel like they let the All Blacks off a little bit when Santiago Carreras went for a grubber kick, which let the All Blacks exit. The All Blacks only kicked it as far as the 22, but 14 phases, I, don't, I know they weren't getting close to the goal line, but they still had... They still had possession, they had territory in the All Blacks red zone. Just keep on pushing. Either the gap opens or the All Blacks concede. Um, maybe you concede a penalty on attack, but the grubber was maybe one you save for advantage. But either way, All Blacks exit goes as far as the 22. Uh, the Pumas put on more pressure. Then they do win a penalty, so they go 3-0 in front. Pumas get the first points on the board, which is what you want. You want to go down the All Blacks end every time and pick up three points at least. Because the All Blacks are going to come at you and get some tries. You need to be getting points pretty much, you know, with regularity against this All Black side. Second kind of big phase is also decent for Argentina, man. Facundo Issa beats Talia to an aerial ball. Uh, but then from that attack, the All Blacks do win a penalty at the breakdown. So they're able to kind of get out of dodge. So that becomes a theme of this first half. Um, and interestingly, when New Zealand went down the Pumas end... For their first, when they got a penalty, they went for touch. They were going for the jugular. New Zealand wanted tries, and it's a big call in a World Cup semi-final. They're three points behind. The mall's a bit messy from the All Blacks, but they get it to the backs, and that man, Will Jordan, gets his first of three tries. So 7-3 up for the All Blacks. They're not going to relinquish that lead. Argentina pushed back. Um, you know, they went through a bunch of phases in reply, which is good to put that pressure back on the All Blacks. But then when New Zealand win a turnover... Man, they just break out. Rico to Mawonga, they break down field. And then a bunch of phases. The All Blacks' hands are pretty phenomenal. Like, it's not just the backs. It's like Lomax. It's DeGroote. It's Whitelock. All these guys chucking the ball around. Um, and then, yeah, uh, Talia goes close. Jordy Barrett's able to finish it off. 12 points to three lead. Looking pretty solid. And then, um, yeah, Argentina, when they had chances to push the All Blacks back, just kept conceding. Turnovers or penalties at the breakdown. They couldn't break down the All Blacks defense to really get a genuine try scoring chance. On 25 minutes, they actually had a line out just outside the All Blacks 22. And they lost it. Like chances gone a begging for the Argentinians in that first period. And then they did, I mean, on 34 minutes, get a penalty to bring it back to a one score game. 12 points to six because they couldn't score tries, but keep the scoreboard ticking over for sure. But then immediately, Juan Montin Gonzalez like, played uh, Will Jordan in the air. And that led to a New Zealand field position, led to New Zealand getting a penalty. So that three points you just got from the restart is basically thrown away. So, yeah, it's a bit disappointing there. I mean, 15-6, All Blacks are pretty comfortably in front. And then it, uh, it's starting to look like, like, maybe not game over, but it's looking like a long way back from Argentina right before halftime. Um, New Zealand get a scrum penalty which leads to territory, which leads to 12 phases. Talia going close, and uh, Shannon Brazell able to finish it off. So 20 points to six at halftime. It's looking like a long way back for Argentina. I mean, they've had the same run meters virtually at halftime. 265 All Blacks, 263 Argentina. But the All Blacks have only had 67 carries, whereas the Argentinians have had 83. So a lot more carries to get the same result. The All Blacks attack is just sharper. I mean, clean breaks is 6-2. Yeah. All Blacks tackling percentage is 92%, which is test level quality. 82% from the Pumas, not so much. 
and they've conceded eight penalties to the All Blacks three. Second half, it doesn't start well for the Pumas. Both sides knock on from the restart, but the Pumas just needed to catch it and exit. They don't. They knock it on. All Blacks knock on back, so there's no advantage played. It's a scrum. The scrum gets advantage for the All Blacks, and the scrum was powered up for the All Blacks in this one. That advantage sees Savia get it to Aaron Smith. He's able to go over for a try. So bang, bang, either side at halftime. All Blacks score 27-6. It's starting to look like it's going to get pretty hairy, and it does. 18 phases from the All Blacks in 48 minutes. Frizzell goes over. Moonga had gone close. Lomax had gone close. 34-6. By 55 minutes, New Zealand are ringing the substitutions. Uh, they get a big line break from a cross kick. The Argentinians to the Buffelli, but can they score from it? No, maybe that was the chance to catch the All Blacks, you know, as they're a little bit disjointed with all the subs on the field, but nope. Um, New Zealand can see the penalty. Argentina go for touch. They go for nine phases, knock it on. So it's another chance kind of going to begin. All Blacks, when they get the same opportunity, don't make that mistake. On 61 minutes, they go through 11 phases. The All Blacks, Talia goes close. He's a really hard man to bring down. About three Argentinian guys are drawn in just to stop Mark Talia. Uh, and then the All Blacks are able to uh, use that kind of additional space to get another Will Jordan try. So 39-6. And um, yeah, maybe the dumbest moment of the game is Scotty Barrett. What's he doing? I mean, we've just gone up 39-6. Maybe he just wanted an early rest. But he's lying on the ground and just sticks an arm out to whack the ball out of an Argentinian guy's hand. So just plays the ball from the ground. It's insanely dumb. I'm glad he did that in this game, and hopefully he doesn't do it next week because dumb, dumb. He gets yellow carded. Cynical play. No need for it. Can Argentina score from that man advantage? No, they knock it on. The All Blacks knock it on a bit later. Uh, maybe the best try of the game is the, the Will Jordan hat trick try on 73 minutes. That's from a line out. Uh, it's a great All Blacks line break. Uh, Will Jordan with the chip over the top. He gathers it. It's a great bounce. Great try. 44-6. That's the final score. All Black should have had another one. Moonga absolutely blew one. Way too casual, but selfish. He wanted a try. Uh, had a man outside him, but took it to the line. He was he was tackled. So All Blacks really should have had 50. And the All Blacks goal kicking was not great. Like if I'm being a bit critical, there was a couple of times when the All Blacks knocked it on. Unforced errors. Goal kicking was pretty average. And um, some of the exits weren't that fantastic. But... Man, they made the tackles. They won the turnovers. They're in a World Cup final. Fozzie's got a chance to go out um, as a World Cup winner. He's got a decent chance. Whoever we play, yeah, it's a pretty decent result. The All Blacks going into this World Cup were not that fancied, but easy winners in this one after a tough game the week before. Run meters, 6.57 to 5.11 to the All Blacks. Position, 56.44 All Blacks. Territory, 55.45 All Blacks. Also, a kicks from hand, 35-22. The All Blacks put a fair bit of boot to ball once again. Beat 50 defenders to 26. That's insane. That means the Argentinian tackling the percentage is 79%, which a super rugby team would look at and go, wow, that's way too low. Uh, the All Blacks were 88%, which is not quite as good as their first half shift, but still pretty good. Uh, both sides almost make 200 tackles. And also, Argentina, 14 turnovers conceded to 9. Uh, sorry, to 8. Way too many. Uh, All Blacks just more clinical. 11 clean breaks to 5. Uh, penalty count actually finishes not too bad. Like Argentina, remember, had 8 penalties conceded by halftime. Only 10 for the entire game. So second half, much better from them. Uh, 7 for the All Blacks. So to keep it below 10 is, um, you know, is, is a pleasing one. But they did concede more penalties in the second half. Uh, individuals, man, Mark Talia beat 14 defenders. He's a hard man to bring down and buggers up that Argentinian tackling rate, doesn't he? He made 98 metres. Didn't get on the board, though. Kane won a couple of turnovers. Salvia was the top tackler for the All Blacks. 18 from 18. Moore, a couple of try assists. Should have had a third. We'll want to practice the goal kicking in the week uh, between now and the final. Mateo Carreras looked sharp. Eight defenders beaten 72 metres, but they couldn't get a try. Kramer made 19 tackles, but missed six, which is just going to be too many, man. In a World Cup semi-final, the scrum was under pressure from the Pumas. Yeah. Honestly, man, the Pumas needed to take more of those chances at the start of the game. The All Blacks, they'll score tries. They got tries in them, so yeah. Finishes a pretty lopsided one. But yeah, you guys let us know your thoughts. How do you reckon this sets up the all sets up the All Blacks going into 
the final. They were able to bring off some of the guns kind of, you know, after 55 minutes. So some guys will be pretty well rested. All Blacks finished the game with 14 men, man. They were um, kind of cruising there at the death. But you feel like they will need to be more clinical. I feel like if the All Blacks had made some of those mistakes the week before, uh, they would have been punished. But anyway, well done, All Blacks. You're in a final. Looking forward to that. Uh, we also look forward to England against South Africa tomorrow in the other semi-final. I hope it's a bit closer than this game. But yes, Argentina stick around for a week as they will play in the third-placed match. You guys, let us know your thoughts. Take care, and um, I'll talk to you guys again soon. See you later.